Hey everyone, it's Gus from Palm Life Up, and today I'm going to be going through how to set up a Raspberry Pi Steam Box. This is a simple project that allows you to stream video games from a computer to the Pi. Perfect if you want to play some video games on the TV or in another room to where your gaming PC is located. One of the biggest downsides to this tutorial is that you will need an NVIDIA graphics card in your gaming PC. Unfortunately there isn't an AMD equivalent of doing the same thing at the filming of this video. If something comes out I'll update the tutorial over at Pi My Life Up. In this tutorial we'll be using a software package called Moonlight for the Pi and this will connect to the NVIDIA GeForce Experience app running on the PC. Now I highly recommend that you use Ethernet to hook up your Pi to help avoid any performance or lag issues between the Pi and the PC. As with the majority of the tutorials I do, you will need to make sure that you have Raspbian installed. If you don't and have no idea where to start, then be sure to check out my video on installing Raspbian. So to begin, you will need to either SSH or be in a terminal on your Pi. In here we need to add the Moonlight repository to our package source list. To do this, simply enter the following. The vertical bar in the following command will copy the result of the first command into the second. If you're also running Raspbian Wheezy, simply change Jesse to Wheezy. Echo, double quotes, deb, http, semicolon, forward slash, forward slash, archive, dot, i, t, i, m, m, e, r, dot, n, l, slash, Raspbian, slash, moonlight, space, jesse, space, main, double quotes. Then the vertical bar, sudo, t, forward slash, etc, forward slash, apt, forward slash, sources, dot, list, dot, d, forward slash, pms, dot, list. Once you have done that, you will need to update the package list by simply running the following sudo at get update. Now install the package by running the following command sudo apt get install moonlight dash embedded. You will be prompted a couple of times, simply answer Y to both of these. Now that's all you need to do. Now we're ready to connect the Pi up to the PC. As I mentioned, you will need to have an NVIDIA GeForce graphics card. Secondly, you'll need to make sure you have GeForce Experience installed. If you don't have GeForce Experience installed, then you can download it over at NVIDIA's website, geforce.com. So to begin, make sure you know the IP address of the gaming PC you wish to connect to. To do this, simply go to the command prompt on Windows. This can be found by simply searching for it. In here, run the command IP config. Now write or copy the IP address that is in the field next to the IPv4 address. On the Pi, enter the following to pair with the gaming PC running GeForce Experience. Moonlight, pair, then your IP address. In my case, it's 192.168.1.105. This will generate a four digit pin that you will need to enter on your computer in the pop up that says Shield is requesting to connect. Once you have entered the four digit pin, you're all good to go. So to begin streaming, simply enter the following Moonlight, stream, then your IP address. In my case, again, it's 192.168.1.105. As you can see, Steam is streaming straight to the Pi. Now I can simply select a game and play it as if I was at the computer. Now you need to make sure you have a keyboard and mouse or controller connected to the Pi so you can actually control and play the game. Now you may notice the quality of the game is degraded slightly. This is so the stream doesn't lag. You can fix this by tinkering with additional options, but you may find it may start to cause your stream to lag. You can find more details over at Pi My Life Up, but for this video I will just show you a couple of examples of additional options. So when you go to launch Moonlight Streaming on the Pi, there are several options that you're able to add to the command line. If you want to add options, they go after stream. For example, Moonlight, Stream, Options, then the IP address. 
As you can see here on Plumb My Life Up, I have listed most of the options there is to pick from. You'll probably find that FPS and resolution are the two that you probably want. Change these if you're finding issues with the stream such as lagging or low quality and so on. Reducing these will help lower the amount of data that needs to be sent over the network. If you had 30 FPS and 720 resolution, it should look something like this. Moonlight Stream dash 30 FPS dash 720 192.168.1.105. If you wanted 1080, then you would change 720 to 1080, for example. If you want to have it launch an app like Steam by default, then you should do something like this: Moonlight Stream dash app Steam 192.168.1.105. Now these are just a couple of examples of what you can do. There are of course additional options that I mentioned before that you're able to add. Now I hope that this tutorial has helped you be able to get games streaming to your Pi. If you come across any issues or have some feedback related to this tutorial, then please don't hesitate to leave a comment below or over at PyMyLifeUp.com. Until next time, have a good one. Looking for more Pi projects to do? Check out these 21 awesome Pi projects that anyone can do. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides and much more.